Good afternoon blog readers from sunny Glenrothes as you can see well you can't see but it's sunny and quite warm here today uh, this is Stephen McHugh from Dyslexia Pathways Kick uh, sending out a new video blog or a series of video blogs um, I'm trying to vary what I do try to make it more accessible try to make it easier for me to do um, so here we go with a series of four or five little videos. Firstly, um, I'd like to announce that we are having a little competition, a t-shirt logo design competition for young people 16 and under. The idea is that we would like young people to design their own dyslexia positive logo for t-shirts and um, the idea is also that um, hopefully our social media will select the winner and uh, those who send in um, those who send in their ideas uh, I will post them up either on a Pinterest or on uh, I will create an album in our Facebook uh, pages and the paid the, the itself the competition itself will be kind of judged by uh, you guys out there are social media following um, and um, the winner will receive the first t-shirt that uh, is selected uh, as part of our series of unique dyslexic t-shirts we are going to be releasing pretty soon um, I think the, uh, the rules are pretty simple um, it's not about really about being fab artists it's about expressing your ideas like to try and keep it to around three or four colors uh, the more colors you have the more expensive it is to print and um, like I said it's for anybody under the age of well under anyone from 16 and under who can uh, send us in their designs just send them to me through my Facebook which you can uh, get to through um, all of our social media either our dyslexia pathways kick or our unique dyslexic get creative pages um, that's the end of this little one, this little first video, and so I'm going to be going on to the next one, and um, see you in a bit. Hello again. Oh, I've left my glasses on. <laughs> this is the second in my short videos for this week's blog. Um, a few years ago, I completed and passed uh, a leadership course with the Social Enterprise Academy. It was a fab. A real fab course it was good to be on a course with lots of other people who are going through the kind of um, trials and tribulations that I'm going through and it also gives me a chance to to mix with other people I think I think being a social entrepreneur as I am it can be quite isolating so any opportunity that I get to go and get involved with the course is always taken on board there's going to be a level 9 certificate coming soon on this leading edge leadership thing. It's going to cost me about ooh, £600 to, f to go on the course. Um, so I am currently, one of my things that I'm currently looking at is trying to find funding for that. Um, we will see. Uh, I don't know uh, if it will, I'll manage it, but we will see. It's something I'd really like to get on. I've also been invited to... Uh, try for a first port um, social enterprise award as and so I will be uh, I'm, not, I'm thinking about whether I should actually go for it or not I'm not sure um, it's a lot of work and I already have a lot of work on board as it is um, but it, um, unless you try you never know I think I'm still kind of half and half whether I'm going to try for it or not anyway that's part two done Back soon. Hi again. Um, the t-shirts designs are going quite well. I think we maybe got about four or five practically ready to go. You can actually view them on either my Pinterest or on my Twitter or on my Facebook. Um, we would appreciate any feedback we can get, any changes or anything you'd like to add to these t-shirts before we get them ready for sale um, also if you're really interested in buying one maybe you could just let us know it would give us some idea if there is actually any interest for this we're hoping that the, we can raise some funds for our work uh, pay, pay expenses for us to travel 
um, maybe pay for printing ink, things like that, with revenue from the t-shirts. It's not going to make us a fortune, but it might make us enough money uh, to do those things. Small steps. I'm also uh, working well with St Andrews University on my visual tracking uh, dyslexia app, which um, is quite exciting, quite cutting edge. Uh, it's not going as fast as I would like, um, and uh, funding is tight, but um, it's moving forward and it looks quite interesting. So that's all about visual tracking uh, and using visual tracking as a uh, dyslexia support uh, assistive technology aid. We will see how that goes on. Me, I'm quite happy apart from the speed. But then again, I'm never happy with the speed. I think it's part of being an entrepreneur, maybe part of being dyslexic. I'm not one of those, uh, one of life's waiters. I don't like waiting around, which can make me a bit impetuous, I think, at times. I've not been as busy as I would like to have been of late. I've had problems with procrastination, problems with my confidence, my teeth, oh, my teeth. Um, problems with my health and um, also you know last year being quite busy with my mum passing away me having a heart attack and the whole unique dyslexic thing I think just really tired me out and then doing the Scotland can do scale thing for the whole week which was quite physically and mentally tiring and there goes one of the parachute planes over the house <laughs> what happens a lot um, just tired me out it's quite funny I think um, here I am I'm quite uh, confident and happy dyslexic you know I'd be like Quasimodo swinging from the bells uh, shouting out how great it is to be dyslexic and all the positives of being dyslexic and yet we can still I can still be affected by those niggling, niggling little voices in the back of your head who can nibble away slowly at your confidence. And um, so it's kind of been a bit tough in a number of ways for me recently. Well, over the past few months. I'm kind of slowly coming through the other side, hence doing this, this V-blog, which um, I find quite stressful. I'm not very good with looking in cameras. That, is, that much is certain. Yeah, as I said, um, my health has not been so good. I've been uh, very remiss with my blood tests for my thyroid. I have a hypothyroid. Basically, it means it's uh, my autoimmune systems attacking my thyroid. It's also attacking my pancreas, which gives me type 2 diabetes. And um, so I've not really been going for those tests. I, I am absolutely detest doctors and, and dentists. I think it goes back to when I was a boy. I must have been about maybe five, and um, I caught scarlet fever, which was uh, my first near-death experience, one of three or four in my life. Um, then uh, after I had that, I got a really bad throat infection, which um, the upshot was that I became an ice cream addict because that's all I had to eat for a while. And then I got some other kind of infection, which um, all in all kept me in hospital for a week, uh, for a year, over a week, that's not very good, no, for a year. And um, apparently my mum and dad said that I was dragged kicking and screaming into the hospital, and then I had to be dragged kicking and screaming to come out of the hospital. I think the upshot, the main upshot of it all was that I missed a year's school, which, um, you know, added on top of being dyslexic wasn't helpful anyway I am slowly dealing with those things I've been to a, the dentist a couple of times I need to go a few more times and um, I'm going to go back to the gym and I'm going to get my bloods done um, in a couple of weeks time I'm trying to take it in small chunks in chunks that I can cope with anyway that's enough of my vlog um, just a small PS. Um, I am looking for, or we are looking for people who'd like to volunteer some of their time on our social media or who would like to 
put articles on the social media, share their artwork or their creative work on our social media, or maybe uh, write little articles for our social media for our readers. I'm trying to expand on our social media reach to some extent. And so I'm hoping that you guys out there will uh, would like to get involved and um, help us. Uh, now we've got 623 likes. I'd like to see a thousand likes. That would be really cool for me and for our work. And um, I'd like to see more followers on on um, Twitter as well. That would be really cool. Um, currently I've got about 1,200. So I would like to see a few more. Um, anyway, that's goodbye for me. Have a good weekend. I am certainly looking forward to tomorrow. I'm going to see um, McFloyd tomorrow at the Rothis Halls, which is going to be cool because they're doing my favourite Pink Floyd album, uh, Wish You Were Here. And um, I'm really looking forward to going there, having a few beers, a few bevies, letting my hair down and um, just enjoy the music and the relaxation. Anyway, that's bye from me. Thanks very much for listening. And you all have a good weekend. Bye.